I, look, I have to say, coming into government and what we've had to deal with in the last two and a half years and how we've come out of this crisis, of course I am. Uh, it's been really, really challenging. Two and a half years since the formation of the current government, uh, coming through a brutal, brutal pandemic. As we heard from the Taoiseach today, the fastest recession to ever uh, come on the world economy. And for Ireland to come through with the level of resilience that it has, yeah, this is up to the people of Ireland in terms of of, 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 of their, their role and what they have done to, to effectively help the nation get through the crisis as we've faced. But we, all, we also need to remember and also, I suppose, give some degree of credit to the government. Uh, you know, we have worked hard. We have taken the challenges extremely seriously. We've dealt with them and we're through them. And I think that says a lot about the government that we have in this country, in, in, uh, particularly when you contrast it with the opposition we have, which is arguably the most populous and reckless in the history of the state. Look, each general election you have to take it by its own merits. If the outcome of each election is very hard to predict and what's going to happen as a consequence of it. You know, the last thing any politician ever wants to do is come into a general election, come out of it and then have to go back to the people again. The people don't want to see us, we don't want to go be, go, be going back on the road again. Um, they're incredibly draining exercises and I think that the public at large do not like uh, general elections. Um, and unfortunately, from my perspective, you know, if, we, if we're in a situation where, uh, you know, we're going to be making up the numbers to form a government, obviously it is going to be optimal that we'd be in a position to work with what's there. Uh, however, there is a set of principles and a common denominator of, you know, what we think is acceptable going into government. And that's something we're going to have to really carefully consider, no matter what party is in the position to form the government. But it's not necessarily going to be a very, very positive outcome if we're looking at a situation where Fianna Fáil have to go into government with Sinn Féin. That, to me, is not optimal. I'd prefer us to see us coming back, having gained in where we were at the last general election. Uh, the 2020 general election for Fianna Fáil was not optimal. We lost seats in a number of locations around the country. We want to try and come back again and try and gain ground from where we were at the last general election. is clean cut yes he, he really has done a fantastic job as Taoiseach uh, the popularity that he's enjoyed through the polling is very clear he's the most popular political leader in the country at the moment and has held a consistent lead in that now for some time you know Mary Lou Macdonald was the only other leader that kind of came close to him in recent times I think that's an indication of just how well thought of he is in the country and it's sad to see him today stepping down it, it really is uh, this to me is a very key moment because we don't know what the future holds uh, effectively there's lots of things that could come up you know the Taoiseach might be or the, the now Taunashta uh, might be offered roles in, in Europe he could be offered an opportunity to run for uh, the presidency of the country which is going to be coming up quite shortly there are other opportunities between now and the next general election that he may have to consider and think about so you know we can't necessarily guarantee what's going to happen when the next general election occurs um, I do think though it's, it's going to be very very interesting for the next two and a half years one would, could have argued that Fianna Fáil should have waited until to this day uh, and try and held off and holding the Taoiseach's office but in hindsight perhaps now looking into the challenges we face and the, the issues of the next general election you know perhaps perhaps it was best the Taoiseach took the opportunity when he did uh, he's now Taunashta and whatever he decides to do at the next step we'll support him a tradition in Fianna Fáil that when you get elected to the party you have to serve a bit of time um, you know a lot of my colleagues that were first time elected were mayors of their counties of their local authorities uh, they had a lot of experience before they got here um, you know it's, it's crazy to think about it I've been in politics for just a little over three years um, since the day I was elected to Cork County Council and um, that in itself you know it just shows that this is a learning a learning curve and a learning practice and you know each day um, each day is different and I suppose from my perspective I would like to see Jack being promoted because I have found him wonderful uh, to deal with. He's been a really hard-working, decent and honest individual in, in every way he's gone about his business. And I think it would be a service to the state to see him having an opportunity to serve in Cabinet. So for Jack to get the promotion today would be great. Unfortunately, we don't know what's going to happen. It's up to the to Taunashta and the Taoiseach uh, who they would like to have serving at Cabinet and, and Eamon Ryan as well. So we'd let it to, we'd let it to them. <laughs> If I was to be most critical of the government in terms of what we've done wrong, um, what's been really, really, really important uh, from my point of view is trying to deal with the housing crisis. And we now need to realise that, that the clock is ticking. Uh, we are going to be running into a general election, local elections, in the not too distant future. And every single ounce of energy the government has has to be focused on tackling that problem. Because in Ireland we have a social contract. 
and that means that if you're somebody who wants to work hard in any capacity uh, whether you want to go on and study in higher education whether you want to go out and start your own business whether you want to go in and do an apprenticeship go out and work hard and, and try and earn a living for yourself and your family that you'll need to be able to get on in life and be able to aspire to buy a home that's affordable, that's fit for purpose. And that's something that has been really, really challenged since the last recession, effectively. After the crash, the housing housing market in Ireland has been broken, so has the building sector. They've never fully recovered. And if I was to have one wish this Christmas, it would be to see the government giving a renewed focus on that issue for the next two, two years. Speculation at the moment is very clear. I'd say there's going to be some change within Fine Gael's junior ministerial positions. A lot of talk about that in Leinster House for the last couple of weeks. You know, there's lots of rumours about whether people were told that they were going to be kept on or not. Um, look, I, I haven't. Nobody has told me themselves, but there is a lot of speculation that there'll be quite a few changes within the junior ministerial roles of Fine Gael. within Fine Fall. It's more unlikely that they'll be changed there because effectively, you know, on our side of the tent, um, you know, it's 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 definitely the case that people have been waiting such a long time. You know, we haven't been in government with ministerial roles since 2011. It's much harder for the Taoiseach to be changing personnel and the Taunashir, sorry, for it to be changing personnel. It's going to take a while to get used to that, by the way. Uh, it, well, it's just, it's just you know, it's, it's, it's have it stay hard, but... Uh, uh, I would say that um, you know it's going to be very hard for, for, for the Taunashta to, to be changing our own roles um, when we've been in government for such a short period of time and, and that's something that has to form part of his own, his own decision making process as well.